Dobbs uh, has decided that he needs to launch a war against Lorax. Lorax is a cute, cuddly character in Dr. Seuss's book. Um, so he must be eliminated. Well, that's what Lou Dobbs says, because uh, Lorax is anti-industry. <laughs> but the way he frames it, it's as if they just came up with Lorax. It's a Dr. Seuss character from 1971. Yeah, 1971. But he's anti-industry. So, you know, Lorax has to do with uh, saving the environment, saving oh, trees. Lit. Lorax is uh, the ultimate tree hugger. And, you know, Lou Dobbs does not like that. He is not a fan of tree huggers. So let's watch Lou Dobbs here. Hollywood is once again trying to indoctrinate our children. Two new films out this year, plainly with an agenda, plainly demonizing uh, the so-called 1% and espousing the virtue of green energy policies, come what may. The movie set to be released nationwide next month is about a woodland creature who speaks for the trees and fights rampant industrialism. So where have uh, we all heard this before? Occupy Wall Street forever trying to pit the makers against the takers and President Obama repeating that everyone should pay their fair share in dozens of speeches since his State of the Union address. The president's liberal friends in Hollywood targeting a younger demographic using animated movies to sell their agenda to children. All right, two points about that. One, he's got a good point. Dr. Seuss was a well-known uh, uh, frequenter of Occupy Wall Street back in 1971. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and uh, he also used to hang out with President Obama and Saul Alinsky. Everybody knows this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and they were also funded by George Soros. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, Soros has been paying Seuss for years now. Definitely. Okay, for decades. Uh, and then second of all, what do they want the characters to be? Do they want like pro-industrialist characters for their kids' books? Yeah, tear like, down those trees. Yeah, like is there supposed to be a character that's like, yeah, let's pollute the environment and put all the carbon dioxide in there. <laughs> Cut down the trees, and then we will make it extra two million dollars. That's a kid story. Like, how's that a kid story? But in in their view of the world, they're like, yeah, well, of course, you you spit on the environmentalist hippie occupiers, like Mr. Lorax here, okay, and yeah. and, and you celebrate the incredibly rich corporate barons. Yeah, how many stories did Lou Dobbs do about the Texas school board trying to take over the social studies program and basically get rid of all the civil rights leaders and replace them with conservative leaders? How many stories did he do about that? I mean, I believe that is indoctrination, right? I'm sure he did a story on that. No, except he didn't, yeah. right? He's attacking Lorax, like a, a freaking cartoon movie that is, has a perfectly lovely message. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's these weird. guys are clowns. What's strange is that uh, environmentalism, this idea of recycling, not wasting, not littering, that's not new at all. Like we all learned that in school growing up. I'm Smokey the Bear, don't be a litter bug. Uh, and I remember watching this Lorax cartoon as a little kid. What is new is an attack on environmentalism and this, you know, this uh, fake outrage and victimhood and acting as if it's wrong to teach kids these age-old values of not fucking up our environment. Yeah, and I don't it's get unbelievable. why. It's unbelievable. I don't get why it's a partisan issue, other than yeah. the fact that well, big oil like has a lot to profit from destroying the environment. You know, well, it's big a, it's, business has a lot to profit from it. It's become a partisan issue because the Republican Party has become a wholly owned subsidiary of oil companies and banks. So if you don't do a pro banker cartoon, they get all over you, right? And by the way, they do have a decent point here, you libs. I should point out. You know, like look at Bambi. Look at the lib message there. Mm -hmm. Maybe Bambi's mom got shot by a good Republican hunter. Okay, but you guys, oh, boo-hoo, Bambi's mom got shot. That's what we do in this country, hunting. Yeah, I mean, the you NRA hated that movie. It was anti-guns. Yeah, so. no, no, it's, it's all a lib agenda. Mm -hmm. I figured it out.